Well, I am standing here with Shauna Lane Block, and we are at Block's Delicious Daily. And, you know, if you think to yourself, eh, I might recognize this person, there was, a, there was a time in the past when you were actually on a very popular television show, isn't there? That is true. That's true. I spent six years on Who's the Boss? Wow. So I'm wondering, in my own mind, just having met you today and, and going through this beautiful restaurant that you have, how, what was the journey from Hollywood and a television show to a chef and a restaurant and wonderful food? <laughs> it took me to a lot of places, I'll tell you that. Uh, you know, started out as a child actor. That was just kind of part of what I did. Yeah. It was normal for me. Um, and then started to get really into college and realizing I wanted to focus on college and leaving acting behind a bit. And then in college, realizing I needed to find something to do. <laughs> and so found my way back to Hollywood, but not in front of the camera. Yeah. So then I was uh, doing script coverage where I would read scripts for executives and because they don't read their own scripts yeah. initially. They and get so many, yeah. right? <laughs> and so I'll read it and I'll type something up so that they can read about it. Um, and then also doing uh, event coordination for Mike Tyson fights. Wow. Yeah, we would go and set up the whole event and the celebrities. I met Madonna. I mean, you know, crazy. So, how did you make that all of that happen into food, though? Well, as, that, as I was doing that, um, I started to think, I don't know that I want to keep doing this. <laughs> and um, I actually spent quite a lot of time, it was just at the birth of Food Network, uh -huh. and I spent quite a lot of time watching TV shows about food. And I had always had food as an important thing to me. Sure. Going and eating and baking more than anything. Um, I started baking on my own when I was really little. And the more time I spent watching it, I just started to, it was like a little bug in the back of my head. Yeah. Like, wait a second, <laughs> maybe we're going to do this. And um, I decided to get a job in a kitchen. I had worked front of house over the years to kind of support myself when sure. I wasn't working. And I decided to get a job in the kitchen and Annie Myler at Clementine in Los Angeles gave me a chance and let me be her prep cook. Well, and then, you know, as life often does, you, you got married, you had children, and then all of a sudden you were cooking a lot because of kids. Absolutely. So I took kind of the professional experience. I became her pastry chef yeah. oh. at, at Clementine and then uh, left to take a break and I had kids and it took a new form, the cooking. Now I wanted to cook healthy but sure. taste good yeah. because kids... They're picky. They're so yeah. picky, but you still want them to be healthy. So it's, you got to trick them. Yeah. You got to trick them into eating. Well, you know, one of the things that I love about this place, Block, is that you you actually have used recipes from your lovely Jewish grandmother that you really hardly met at all, but you got them through, you said, letters. Yes. That's so yes. cool. She, you know, we didn't spend a whole lot of time together. She's in Florida. I'm in Los Angeles, but she would send me letters. She would write the recipes. She'd write little hints about how to make it taste good. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, her rugula recipe has found its way okay. into our place. I'll be making her cabbage soup. And you really want this, this experience to be local. You, you source almost everything local. You really are in touch with your community as well. Yeah, our goal is to make it a neighborhood community oriented place. So we use Gathering Together Farm. Nice. Um, we try to use whatever they have on their availability list. We include it into our menu, okay. but we always have their salad greens okay. because they grow the most beautiful greens. And you offer, also offer a selection of, of gluten-free products. We do. We have a lot of things that are made without gluten. And we can do bread without gluten. We have pancakes without gluten. We have pastries without gluten. Nice. So if people want to find out more information, what do they do? What website do they go to? Our website is blockspdx.com. Wonderful. Well, you know, it's a lovely place. We got a great selection of food here today to try it. Every bit of it was absolutely delicious. Thus, delicious daily at Block. So for more information, you can go to their website. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you.